All right, guys, welcome back to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews. Today, I'm talking about which one's better, Chrono 24 or eBay. You want to know what I think about it? Hold tight. All right, guys, welcome back to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews. Today, I'm talking about which website is better for buying watches online eBay or Chrono24? Those are the two I'm talking about today. Now, before I get started, someone had posted in the comments, hey, you never show what watch you're actually wearing in your videos. And honestly, I didn't think anybody would care. But today I'm wearing a Hamilton Khaki Pilot Pioneer. This is one of my favorite watches, hand-wound movement. I love it. And actually, I bought this watch from eBay a couple years ago when it first came out. So let me get right into the two websites. First, I'm going to start with Chrono24. I've sold watches on Chrono24. I can speak from experience as a seller, but what does it mean as a buyer? Now, I haven't sold anything that would be classified as a luxury watch. Everything I've sold has been around 1000 and under. But how Chrono24 works, if you're the buyer and you buy a Seiko SKX from me and you get that watch, your money is held in an escrow account for 14 days. I can't get at it. And they hold that money for 14 days for you to do your due diligence to make sure that that watch is legit. Chrono 24 has nothing to do with it. Now, they do go through a registration process for the seller where you've got to verify your ID, do some other verification process. And it's pretty decent, about the same as what eBay does. But outside of that, you're pretty much left to that two-week time frame that they hold the money in escrow to verify that the watch is legit. Now, I think this is pretty good for watches 2000 and under. I think it's a pretty good process that they have in place. Even when I list the watch, to make sure that the watch isn't a scam, Chrono24 will ask you to post a picture of that watch at a particular time and you have to upload that picture before they verify the listing. So that's all good. Pretty sure you can verify that the seller is legit by a lot of those parameters. But is the watch you're getting legit? That's solely up to you. And if you're in an area where you don't have a top-notch watchmaker that can verify that for you, you're on your own. And you hope that you get a legit product. Now, let me talk about eBay for a minute. All right, so eBay is a little bit different. Now, eBay offers authenticity guarantee. Now, that's only on watches $2,000 or over, or that go that could possibly go over $2,000 in bidding. But under two grand, you are pretty much getting the standard eBay return policy. So I would say eBay and Chrono24 are very similar when you're buying a watch under $2,000. But where I think eBay has the upper hand is once you get over that two grand, you can consolidate your search down to watches that only offer that authenticity guarantee. And I started thinking about this because I've been looking at some older date just, and I basically go right to that authenticity guarantee in the search bar and highlight that. So all of my results come with those types of watches. That gives me a better feeling that I'm getting something that's authentic, authentic. So eBay has that advantage. Now, what is that authenticity guarantee? So once the watch is sold, let's say I'm selling the date just to you. Once I sell it, the watch is actually going to go to Dayton, Ohio, to the authenticator. It's a company called Stolen Company. And I'll talk about them in a little bit. But they basically get the watch in. They assign it a SKU there at their company. And it starts going through their inspection process. They inspect the case the strap, the buckle, spring bar, screws. They look at everything on the exterior. Then they take the case back off. They go into the inside. They look for any rusty parts, any sort of parts that aren't supposed to be there. And then it goes to a, another authenticator who makes sure that the watch matches the listing. So if I sold you a chronograph and I said the date function works and stolen company sees the date function doesn't work, they're going to reject it. So they're not just going to go ahead and let it slide through just because the watch is authentic. And I said, hey, the date just is authentic. But if my listing says that the date function was supposed to work and then stolen company gets it, 
and it doesn't work, then they're going to reject it. So not only are they authenticating it, they're making sure all the functions are supposed to work that are stated in the listing. Now, here's where there's some latitude with um, auth authenticating these watches. If stolen company gets a vintage watch, you know, you've got a really old Rolex and there's some parts in it that aren't original. If those parts aren't made anymore, then stolen company will let those pass. They're going to let parts pass during their inspection if they are no longer available by the manufacturer. So yes, vintage watches can go through this process, but keep in mind, if you get an old Explorer, an old Datejust, and it had to be repaired with an aftermarket part, stolen company is going to let it slide because that is allowed with vintage watches. So you need to read the listing closely and make sure that they state that in there. So I think that eBay's got the upper hand now over Chrono24 because you've got this added protection. So let's say I sell you the date just. You get the date just in. you like, ah, I don't like this. I'm going to ship it back. What Stalling Company does is they put a band on the watch to keep people from wearing it. So first off, when you ship it back to me, it's going to go back to Stolen Company. It doesn't come back to me. They re-verify the watch. And then they look to make sure you didn't wear it. So they re-verify that you didn't just pop the guts out of it, put it in your watch, put some cheap Seiko movement in it, and try to send it to me. So they re-verify before I get it back. So for me, as a seller, it gives me another level of confidence that I wouldn't have selling through Chrono24. If I went to sell one of my Rolexes, I would sell it through eBay because of the verification process. I would be worried about selling through Corona 24 because if there was a return, how do I know someone didn't go in there and take out the good movement and put in a clone movement? So they're going to go back through the re-verification process even on a return. Now, you tell me, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm siding with eBay on this. I'm feeling better about it. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about Stall and Company, the ones that actually do the verification you know, when I first heard about eBay's authenticity program, I thought the watches were actually going to some room over at eBay headquarters and some random people are just doing a basic verification. But as I started digging into it and reading about Stall and Company, these guys have been around since 1982. They are the service provider for 24 different brands and if you're talking about a level of expertise, they definitely have it. They probably held every watch ever made. When you look at their background and what they've been doing and how many companies they've they worked for, it's pretty impressive. So I think when you have an expert actually verifying your watch, I feel rest assured that Stall and Company is pretty much the only ones in the US. When you have to rely on a local watchmaker to verify that you're Panerai or your Rolex or your Breitling is legit, there's no way they've held the number of watches that Stall and Company have. And they have a huge reputation to protect if they were to let a fake Rolex go through, fake Breitling, fake Panerai go through their system. So they've got a lot at stake versus a local watchmaker that's probably only seen a couple of them in their lifetime. So I've I have a higher level of confidence in Stall and Company. Again, when they get the watch, if the watch was listed new, unworn, they're going to make sure that the manual is in there, the warranty card is in there, the original box is in there. Now, if it was listed as new, without tags, then they're going to look at that listing and make sure, okay, that the watch is unworn, what was supposed to come with it. So there's no box, no papers, but it should be an unworn, unscratched, unused watch. So they're not only looking at what you're getting, they're not looking at only the, the functions working properly, but they're looking at how was it listed? Did you get that watch new with tags? Was it supposed to come in the factory box? Are you getting the factory box? I know I bought watches off eBay that did not come with the Seiko warranty, did not come with the Seiko manual, came in a box that was not right for it. So, 
of course, we're not doing verification process on a Seiko, but just imagine that's your Breitling, that's your Rolex, and you're buying it from another website. I think I feel way better now with what eBay is doing. Now, I bought my Rolex from the watch box. The difference with like the watch box or Bob's watches, they actually buy the watches themselves and they do their own verification. Again, I have a high level of confidence in that. And I would buy from those guys again. But I used to rule out eBay. I used to say, there's no way I'm going to buy a Rolex, Breitling, Panerai, any of those brands off of eBay. But if it's going through the verification process, which I highly recommend, you only buy watches going through that process. Because why would someone not pick that? What I mean, why would you not pick that if you're selling your watch? If you go to eBay, click that that only the authenticity guarantee listings. I would not be looking at any luxury watches that do not offer that. So I'm feeling better about it. Let me know what you think. Have you bought any watches off of eBay that went through this process and you had a problem with it? Because I'm just like you guys. I shop on Hutches all day. I'm looking at some older Datejust and I'm scanning them and I'm scanning them and I'm feeling better all about buying some from eBay. But I don't really see any horror stories except from sellers who got their watches rejected by Stall and Company. And I don't, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but you got your watch rejected because something was wrong with it. I can't help you there, but I actually like that. I want them to reject it. I want them to analyze those watches as much as possible. Now, have you had a problem as a buyer? Did you buy something that went through Stall and Company and it was fake? Because I can't really find anything out there where anybody's had any issues with fake watches that went through the eBay verification process. So leave your comments below. And as always, I appreciate you tuning in to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews.